Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be giving y'all some romance reads recommendations. <laughs> Hello, it is another Romance Reads Recommendations video. So if you didn't know, if you're new to my channel, I am predominantly a romance reader. I read some YA, some sci-fi, some fantasy. I read some of everything, but it's mainly romance. This shelf behind me is slowly becoming solely romance books. So the last time I made one of these videos was I think back in February of this year, and I've made a few before that as well, so I'll link those down below if you wanna know about some other romance books. Some of my favorites of all time are on those past videos, so I'm not gonna be talking about them today because I've already talked about them. These are my favorite of the bunch that I have read since my last video that I made about romance books. Not all of them were five stars, but I think most of them were 3.5 or higher, so I recommend all these books. Before I talk about these books in this video, I just wanna let y'all know what the Lovely Ladies Book Club book is for the month of September. You have until October 5th to read this book. We will have our live show on my channel at, I believe, seven o'clock central time on October the 5th and it is for Cold Hearted Boss by R.S. Gray. I'm really excited to read this because I've never read an R.S. Gray book. This is about a girl who I think is really needing a job and this construction company starts building something in her town but they will only hire like strong working men and so she disguises herself as a man and then maybe falls for her boss who is a man. That sounds good and I'm really excited so if y'all want to join us for the live show on October 5th be sure to read that. There's still plenty of time. I believe it is on Kindle Unlimited and on the Audible Romance Package so be sure to check it out. So let's get started and we'll start out with the first book that I have to talk about. It's actually a series. I'm going to get this out of the way because I've been talking about this series non-stop for the past couple videos. The Black Dagger Brotherhood by J.R. Ward. If you didn't know, this is a paranormal romance series, urban paranormal, so it takes place in modern day. The, this was written back, I think, back in 2008. What I love also about this series is that it was made in 2008, written in 2008, and it still holds up to this time. So each book is basically kind of like a couple, centered around a certain couple, but the series is all told in third person. Basically, we have our narrator, telling the stories of everybody, including side characters. Side characters may get their own chapter, may get many chapters in one book when that character's main book isn't till like eight books later. So you kind of follow these characters all the way from book one, even past their own book. I love that. That's the first time I've ever seen that in a series. I love that because I love all of these characters and it's dramatic, it's exciting, it's enthralling, it's sexy and steamy. I love these books. Did I even say that this was about vampires? I think I forgot to say that this book is about vampires. <laughs> wow, Avery, get on track here. Yeah, they're vampires and they have their own vampire society and it's wonderful and I want to live in this vampire society. Anyways, on to the next one. <laughs> next, I have an ebook to talk about. We have The Year We Fell Down by Serena Bowen. This is about our two main characters, Corey and Hartley, and they are in college. This is a new adult romance. This also has disability rep because Corey was in an accident. She had a spinal cord injury, so she's in a wheelchair. She gets placed into like a separate building from her college for her first year for disabled people, more accessible rooms, things like that. And her neighbor, her dorm neighbor, is Hartley. And he is in a cast, he's in crutches because he suffered a hockey injury, but it is temporary. It's not like Corey's where she's gonna have to deal with this her whole life. So Corey and Hartley maybe start up a little bit of a romance, even though she is the person to think nobody is ever going to want to be with me because I'm in a wheelchair and no one could ever love me because I'm in a wheelchair. Maybe Hartley can convince her otherwise. I really, really, really enjoyed this book and I hope that y'all do as well. Next is a series that I think is gonna maybe be a hit or miss for some and that is the Royal Series by Aaron Watt. Uh, the first book is Paper Princess, next is Broken Prince, and the third is Twisted Palace. There are more in the series but these are the main three and these three center around a couple and the next two center around a different couple, so I haven't read the other two yet. The reason why I say this series would be a hit or miss for some people is because it is 
very problematic. Just gotta say. I have said this before, but I think of these books as like a soap opera that you can read. You know it's very over dramatic, but you're addicted nonetheless. That's how I am with this series. This is about our main character named Ella Harper, and um, she basically gets rescued, swooped off the streets by a man named Callum Royal, and he has five sons who all hate her when she moves into this house. The reason why Callum basically rescues her is because she's an orphan, but he is her father's best friend and he welcomes her into the family. She becomes his ward. Um, but this may be a forbidden romance between Ella and one of these sons who hates her. So it's a hate to love and it's a forbidden romance. Very problematic, but I was really addicted reading these. I needed all of them. So take with that what you will. <laughs> Next we have one of my favorite books that I have read this year. We have Wait For You by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is a new adult romance that I absolutely am in love with. This is about our main character named Avery who goes across the country to go to college and she was bullied a lot at her high school for reasons you will find out about when you read this book. She flies across the country to go to a new college to make a fresh start and escape her troubled past and there in her new college she meets soccer superstar Cam who helps her realize she's more than what she has gone through and she is her own person and helps her gain confidence in herself and helps her learn to love herself and maybe falls for him in the process. I love this book. I love these two characters. I'm actually reading this book all in the point of view of Cam. I think it's called Trust in Me. I am currently reading that at the moment via ebook but this book is all told in the perspective of Avery so I am reading the book in the perspective of Cam right now and I'm really really enjoying it. This book also has trigger warnings for sexual assault. I love this. One of my favorite books of the year and I really 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 recommend. There are more books in this companion series but this is for sure the best out of the bunch. Next we have Waiting for Tom Hanks by Carrie Winfrey. This was the Lovely Ladies Book Club pick for the month of August. I will link that live show down below. We went in great detail talking about this book. So this is about our main character named Annie who is in love with rom-coms. She loves romantic comedies so much. She ends up getting a temporary position as the assistant to the director for a rom-com that is shooting a few scenes in her really small town and there she meets Drew Danforth who's a very popular actor um, but he's also really known for being really goofy, silly, doesn't really take himself too seriously and that is the exact opposite of what Annie is looking for in a partner. Annie loves rom-coms so her dream in life is to marry her Tom Hanks, the romantic sweeps you off your feet kind of man. She thinks that Drew Danforth is the complete opposite of that but she maybe can't help falling for him anyway. I really adored this book. This book has been getting love and hate. A bunch of people say that it didn't really have all that much conflict in it at all, which sure it didn't, but I read this book as if it was a rom-com. It doesn't take itself too seriously. If you want something really fluffy, light, easy to read. It doesn't have steamy scenes in it either. It's fade to black. So if you're really wanting to get into romance, I totally recommend Waiting for Tom Hanks. I believe it is a great romance read starter book. I really adored this and thought it was super duper duper cute. Next another series we have the Forbidden Hearts series by Alicia Rye. The first one being Hate to Want You. The second one is Wrong to Need You. And the third one is Hurts to Love You. I love this series so much. I originally listened to them via audiobook through my library and just fell in love with them. The first book is a hate to love second chance romance kind of thing. Kind of like Romeo and Juliet-esque. Two feuding families but the main characters fall for each other. I also want to say that this series is super duper diverse and I love it. Our main character here, she is Japanese and Hawaiian descent. Our main character here, the man is Japanese and Hawaiian descent and the female is Indian American and she is bisexual. And our last book here, our main character female is plus size. I love this series. Each book I think gets better as it goes on. I totally recommend these and I hope that y'all love them too. Next we have a paranormal romance book that I'm surprised I haven't talked more about on my channel. We have The Winter King by C.L. Wilson. This is fantasy romance. Each main character has their own magical abilities. Um, I believe she has like storm powers and the 
male has winter powers. It's been a few years since I've read this book, so <laughs> I don't remember all that much, but I remember really, really, really loving it. I originally listened to this via audiobook and fell in love. Our main character, I think her nickname is Storm. She is basically the least liked daughter by their father because she looks the most like her dead mother and he basically despises her because of that. And she gets hidden away in the tower for nobody to see and nobody to know about until the evil, evil Winter King comes to this palace. He basically says, if you don't give me one of your daughters to marry, I'm going to destroy your kingdom. Okay, so Storm's dad convinces the Winter King that of course I'll marry you to one of my daughters. and he kind of convinces the king that he's gonna marry his like middle child. When in reality, before the ceremony, he switches them and makes his other daughter that he doesn't like and wants to get rid of marry the Winter King. And it is a arranged marriage romance. Like they're, they're married before they realize they have feelings for each other. It is hate to love and like there's also powers involved. So kind of like fight with each other with powers. So I really loved it, very angsty, great fantasy romance read. Next we have the Getting Some series by Emma Chase. I talked about the Royally series by Emma Chase in my last video. Fell in love with them. The first one is Getting Schooled and this one is about Garrett and Tally. They were high school sweethearts until they went off to college and broke up. This takes place 10 years later. It's a second chance romance. He is a football coach at the high school that he attended when he was in high school and he's a teacher. Callie ends up coming back in town, needing a job. She teaches and loves theater, so she takes up the role as the temporary theater teacher. They end up sparking the romance back up again in like the high school setting 10 years after high school, so I really, really enjoyed this one. The next book in the series is Getting Played. I didn't love this one as much as Getting Schooled, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. This is about Dean and Lainey. They have a one night stand and Dean is a high school teacher at the same high school that Garrett taught at from the previous book. And at the start of the new year, he realizes that one of his students, he had the one night stand with his mother. There are some complications with what happened after the one night stand. So it's them reconnecting and figuring out feelings for each other. Next we have The Protector by Jodi Ellen Malpass. So this book is about Camille Logan and she is the daughter of a really successful businessman, like millionaire, billionaire kind of man. She ends up getting some death threats so her father hires her a bodyguard who is Jake Sharp and they immediately hate each other because they think the other person is so attractive. They just immediately hate each other because of it. It's hate to love, very steamy, her falling for her bodyguard. Right when I heard that synopsis, I had to get it really enjoyed it. I hope y'all do too. Next we have one of my other favorite romance reads of the year. We have All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. This is a way more serious romance book. I was very triggered sometimes reading this because this deals with infertility and that is a great fear of mine. Beware going into this book. This is about our two main characters Quinn and Graham and they end up becoming a couple when they realize their own significant others are cheating on them with each other. So basically Quinn and Graham meet by catching their significant other cheating on them. They don't get together right after that. It takes a couple years actually and months for them to start a relationship. So each chapter kind of like flip flops to then and now. Then when Quinn and Graham first started up their relationship and now when they are basically on the brink of divorce and you realize what is going on in their lives, how they've gotten to this point, what happened to them, how they can maybe fix it, how they maybe can't. I love this story. It is an emotional one for sure. You are going in, you may cry buckets because I did. <laughs> Next we have Transcendence by Shay Savage. I got recommended this book from Riley, from Riley Marie. She loves this book and I do too. This is about our main character named Ed, who is a caveman. Elizabeth ends up getting sucked back in time to when cavemen existed. And it is a romance between Elizabeth and Ed, all in the point of view of Ed though. And Ed doesn't understand language at all. So he doesn't understand anything that Elizabeth is saying, doesn't understand anything. He can't comprehend languages at all. It is, they're really sweet romance. There's obviously some struggles because 
she gets freaking sucked back in time. And I really, really, really recommend this book. Next is another series. We have the Fireblood Dragon series by Ruby Dixon. So Ruby Dixon wrote the Ice Planet Barbarian books, which I am in love with. I feel like more people on booktube are starting to read, which I freaking love. Another guilty pleasure read is her other series, which involve dragon shifters. <laughs> so I've listened to these books all via audio and I'm addicted to them. They're not like five star books like at all. Same thing with Ice Planet Barbarians, but I was I was addicted to them nonetheless. I loved them. The first book being Fire in His Blood. The apocalypse hits the earth and basically a hole opens up in the sky and dragons fly out and basically decimate the entire world. <laughs> and there are only very few survivors in certain areas of the world. And turns out when a dragon smells his mate, he can turn into a human. Like not entirely human because they're shift into a human there you go and it's like each book is about a romance between a dragon shifter and a woman i think there's also in later books there's gonna be like a female dragon and a man falling for each other really addicted to these books just like ice planet barbarians not as good as ice planet barbarians but i was addicted nonetheless next we have a very popular one here on booktube we have the unhoneymooners by christina lauren this is a hate to love romance fake relationship romance also like destination vacation romance every trope like wrapped up in a little bow for you in this book so this is about our two main characters olive and ethan and they are the maid of honor and best man at their siblings weddings and everyone at the wedding except for Olive and Ethan ends up getting food poisoning so they decide to go on the honeymoon because they're not sick and they don't want to waste the trip so the bride and groom send them off to the honeymoon together but they have to pretend to be husband and wife for them to go on this honeymoon even though they freaking hate each other but turns out they may not hate each other as much as they think they do I really enjoyed this. If you are getting into romance or you want to get into romance, I totally recommend this book because this one has fade to black scenes and it will not hit you in the face with steamy scenes like some of these other books will. So if you're wanting to get into the romance scene, I totally recommend checking out The Unhoneymooners. Next we have Nailed Down by Shell Bliss and Eden Butler. This is about our two main characters named Kit and Kane. They are basically the hosts of an HGTV show, Fixing Up Homes, and they're really close friends, but they've never like been more than friends. They may think the other person is really, really attractive, but they've never gone out of their way to pursue the other person at all. But then Kit one day, her best friend who happens to be her cousin ends up passing away and leaves Kit with a bucket list to do after she has passed away because Kit is lives a very sheltered life and she wants her cousin to get out more even after she has passed. So she convinces Kane to help her complete this bucket list and some of these things may include some steamy things that Kane may or may not have to help her with. I really enjoyed this. It was a really quick audiobook, very short, so totally check it out. Okay, we're down to the last two. They're very popular on here. No surprise there. We have The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. I love this book. This is a hate to love office romance. Absolutely am in love with this book. This is about our two main characters, Lucy and Joshua. They are both competing for this position in their company and they have always hated each other. But while they're trying to compete for this position, they may end up realizing they have feelings for each other that don't necessarily completely involve hate. Lucy and Joshua's tension is a freaking plus. Love them a lot, as I've said many times. <laughs> so I think this is also a great romance starter book. There's not that many steamy scenes in there, so check this one out. And the last one has taken over booktube, I believe, or the book internet, basically. Fix Her Up by Tessa Bailey. Yes, I have finally read this book. <laughs> this was a buddy read with my friend, um, Steph from Neffa Entertainment. I will link her channel down below. This is about our two main characters, Georgie and Travis. And Georgie has always had a huge freaking crush on Travis growing up. And he's a little bit older than her. He's like her older brother's best friend. And Travis was a huge baseball star until he had an injury that left him with not being able to play anymore. Um, so he goes back to his hometown, basically wallows in self-pity. After Travis moves back home after suffering this injury, he realizes he really wants this job as like basically like an anchor man to like a sport channel. But to be able to get this job, he has to look more family friendly. So he basically needs 
to have a fake fiance. So he asks Georgie to be his fake fiance and that will help Georgie too because she's the baby of her family and everybody treats her like a freaking baby. So she wants to gain more rep in her family and basically convince them that she's not a child anymore. She's in her 20s, like she's not a child. And Travis may realize he actually has feelings for Georgie through all of this. I really loved this. No wonder it is getting such high praise on booktube. This has a lot of steamy scenes to it. Don't let the cover fool you. It is very, very, very steamy. Um, whew, I've been talking for a while. <laughs> but anyways, there you have it. Those are some romance reads recommendations that I have for y'all. I really enjoyed all of these and I hope that y'all will too. Please let me know down in the comments down below if you have read any of these books or if you are looking forward to reading them now. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching and I will see y'all soon with a new one. Bye. Thank you.